Matthew, I actually brought in an old friend today. Meet the X Pro Heli. This was my first drone a little over eight years ago. Now imagine it came with no camera, no gimbal, and it costed almost three thousand dollars US. That's crazy. So with this out of the frame, let me also show you my new best friend, which is the DJI Mini Two. And let me tell you, you know. If back then someone came to me and said there's gonna be a drone that's under 250 grams with three axis gimbal, 4K camera, and it's gonna cost less than $500 US, I would have said, Matt, you are crazy. That's never gonna happen. <laughs> I would have won another bet, that's for sure. Um, I, you know, I'm ecstatic with the new technology that's been coming out since the last 10 years and, until now. And I just love this new Mavic Mini, uh, sorry, Mini 2, I should correct that. So um, I think it's great. I think it's something that a lot of uh, creators are going to love to use. Definitely. And it really dropped the entry level barrier for the industry substantially. You know, it's always great to see more people being exposed to new technologies. Absolutely. I mean, having something like this in my bag at, available anytime I want, it just could allow me to shoot a lot more. Now, in our first impression video with Vistec, we looked at the detailed specs of the Mini 2 and also compared it with the original Mavic Mini 1. So today, we want to focus on a more in-depth review on the flight performance of the Mini 2. Matthew, tell me how did you like flying the new Mini 2? Oh, Yife, I must tell you, I was so... I was like a little kid in the store getting a new toy because it just flew so, so well. I was so impressed. You know, being able to compare it to something that we had before, like the Mavic Mini when it first came out, and then flying this, I mean, this is a night and day difference. And especially for the line of work that I do. I do a lot of cinematic work uh, doing real estate shoots and we need to fly very subtle movements, little pans. And knowing that this thing can handle, be so responsive for when I needed it at a nice smooth pace, it was just such a joy. But the best part was when I put it into sports mode, I mean, this thing just boogied. Not only that, but when I, you know, turned the joystick in the direction I wanted to go, it responded instantaneously. Whereas before the other drone was a little bit mm, lagging, let's say. so. This is thoroughly a really good upgrade. Uh, I love this drone. I must say it's going to be in my bag all the time. I remember with the Mini, uh, the original Mavic Mini 1, it was always, you know what? The drone is under 250 grams. Right. Uh, we can use it for situations that we can't use Mavic 2 for. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, we're going to live with all the little imperfections it had. Uh, but with the Mini 2, to say that it flew better than Mini 1, it's actually, it's, it's an understatement, it is. right? It's, it's putting it really mildly because with the Mini 2, it just flies. Yeah. It does what it's supposed to. And a lot of the time, you almost forget that this drone is actually under 250 grams. Yeah, it's exciting to see the technology where they brought this drone to, number one. Um, you know, not having the sensors on it, for most people might be concerning, but as a professional pilot, knowing that it's so responsive, you know, if I'm going one way and I need to, you know, back away because I might hit something. I know I can do that with this drone. So I'm thoroughly impressed, like I said, and uh, definitely something I'm going to have in my bag all the time. And I find that flight performance, it really carries that smoothness even to the footage. Let me show you some of this uh, city footage we actually shot. Yeah, and as you know, Yifei, I do a lot of dust twilight shots. So I like to, I want to put this drone to the test to see if it would be able to handle this type of scenery. And we're down here looking at downtown Toronto and the sunset's going down. And as you can see, we're, we're just kind of flying sideways and backwards a little bit here and just seeing that silhouette of the skyline there with the sunset and uh, the, all the cars flowing off to the right side. It just did such a great job, inconspicuous and not having to worry about drawing attention. I know you are always concerned about low lighting conditions, especially on a smaller sensor for a smaller drone, right? Uh, overall, we can always pick on how this 4K is over sharpened. There isn't any color profile like on the Mavic 2 Pro, but looking at the low light condition, looking at just the video quality and smoothness, I believe it definitely over delivered. Yeah, definitely. You know, when we're flying this in areas like, for example, here where we're trying to capture uh, condo buildings, you know, as a real estate photographer, we're trying to capture the best angles of the building. And usually, you know, ground level up doesn't look as very attractive. So 
So being able to put a drone up in the air, getting some footage like this, taking some pictures and then doing some panels with the video, I mean, it's just fantastic. And I know for real estate, operations is as important as the equipment you are using. So I find with the Mini 2, it's easy to set up. It, uh, I'm not sure if it's about the frequency, but the propellers do feel quieter, which means that when you fly, you're causing less deterrence. You're actually drawing less attention from, uh, from basically people passing by. Well, you know, when we did the flight test and had both of these side by side, I noticed it like instantaneously how much more quieter it was. So that, you know, flying in subdivisions and going through backyards and stuff like that, um, having something a lot less quiet is a lot better for us and we're gonna have a lot less attention drawn to us. It's actually a huge added safety factor uh, because a lot of pilots complain about distractions, right? About people or curious people who just <laughs> decided to talk to them in the middle of a flight. With a Mini 2, it definitely provides a better added safety factor, less distraction for the pilot. Yeah, I mean, I can't tell you how many times I get people that come up to me and talk to me and say, well, you know, what are you doing? And is that house for sale? And it's like, you know, I, I'll talk to you in a second. I'm trying to, to fly this and get the shot done. But, you know, having the, a drone like this so small, so compact and so instantaneous that I can get it up, get what I need to do, get it down and then um, go about my ways. It's uh, fantastic. You mentioned earlier, Matthew, about the obstacle avoidance, which the Mini 2 doesn't have the obstacle avoidance. That would be my recommendation to any new pilots getting the Mini 2. Uh, just be careful when you're flying without the obstacle avoidance so that you're not crashing into trees or buildings. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Listen, this drone is really, really responsive, which is great. But sometimes even flying the Mavic Pro, we turn the optical avoidance off um, to be able to get certain shots. So if you're starting out with this drone, you maybe want to go to an open field and just kind of fly and test it. But you should have absolutely no problems getting that responsiveness that you need to move away from something if you need to. Originally with the Mavic Mini 1, we mentioned it was a great drone for events, for travel photographers, wedding photographers, especially crowded spaces that's difficult to fly a heavier drone. With the Mini 2, do you believe it's still for the same crowd? You know what, Yifei, this drone is going to be for a lot of people. Uh, I know for us as a team, all my photographers are going to have this drone in their bag. It allows us to be, you know, a, a better service to our clients and get that shot that we just sometimes can't get without having a drone. So, yeah, I definitely think this is for a lot of people. What I like to say is that the DJI Mini 2 is for everyone, but not everything. That was very well said, Yifei. And, and with that, I'm going to end off with saying I'm going to take my Mini 2 out to go fly in some places that I've been dying to fly. All right, are you still rolling? Wait, I'm one more excited. time. I'm excited. I want to go fly this. Go in. Okay, uh, sequence three, take five. Five.